Funny Build is getting an update and unlike any other build you've seen on YouTube, this build is only one build that does everything. Killing bosses, infiltrations, and farming without you having to make different slots and switch things around. It's one build for everything and this helps me complete infiltrations on gold tier every single time regardless of the one that comes out. It helps me kill the bosses. It even lets me kill the, some of them in within less than 30 seconds. And in addition to that, it also helps me farm. Now, if you saw my previous build that we put up for the preseason, this has a couple changes. We're going to go over what those changes are, why we made those changes, and how infiltrations changed the way our build you know, pretty much came about. So without further ado, let's jump into Bunny. And just, I want to explain this for the newcomers who are coming into Bunny. And this is a quick overview of how her skill works and what you want to be doing when you're actually doing this. So let's go over here to our descendant. So under descendant, we're going to go to descender modules. And the main thing we're looking here, guys, is we want to make sure we're focusing primarily on her skills. All right. So her main skills, guys, the, the, you know, her number two, which is speed of light and her number three, which is the lightning emission. Those are going to be your core skills. Those are going to be the ones that you're going to kind of carry you through the whole entire process of the thing. And I always like to say that whenever people are playing bunny, if you're shooting your gun more than you're running, more than you're moving, you're playing bunny incorrectly because the way you're meant to play bunny is you're supposed to be constantly moving every single time. This not only will allow you to get your MP back, but in addition to that, it'll help you pretty much clear everything really fast. So what exactly did we change, you know, in priority from our previous build? Well, the first thing we went and we did is we did the following. So we go to our descendant modules. We're going to go over exactly what we're doing. So first and foremost, guys, the first thing we did is we changed our grapple hook. Well, as you guys remember, in our previous build, we were running the long distance maneuvering. Now we're running the mid-air maneuvering. And this is going to be a key, key component to your build. Without this, your build is going to be lacking. Why is it going to be lacking? Because this is the only current right now grapple hook that will give you the longest distance traveled to be able to do a lot of damage remember bunny has a thing within her ability within her when her like her main core rapid foot ability is that the longer she's able to travel the more damage she will be able to do so as you see right here gains electricity proportionary to the travel distance so the longer she travels the longer she moves away from a target the more damage she will do and that is what this mid-air maneuvering ability allows us to, or module allows us to do it allows us to just you know get a, the longest distance we can and allowing us to do that another thing we're running guys is high voltage this is by far the best bunny attribute right here uh, all the other ones are pretty good uh but this one should let you guys do everything when it has to do with farming has to do with bossing and has to do with um, invasions any content you want to throw at it high voltage is the way to go i know some people say you know you could do some other ones guys don't waste your time don't waste sockets uh, just high voltage is the way to go. Okay, so the main focal point within this build, guys, is reducing our MP costs and getting our skill pool down as quick, as low as we possibly can, but also in effectively getting our crit damage as high up as we possibly can. All right, so we're running emergency measures here. This is going to be giving us crit hit damage. Frontline, guys, once again, crit hit damage. Uh, battle stamina, guys, is just going to increase your skill duration, so it's going to make it even more active. Dangerous Ambush is extremely good because what this is going to allow you to do is that when you are attacking an enemy that's in the down position, uh, they won't be able, they will be pretty much have more damage stacked upon them. Now, this is going to be extremely important when you are fighting bosses, all right? When you're fighting bosses, this is where this comes into play because your skill will do more damage whenever the enemy goes down uh, on their knees. Uh, in addition to that, we got to increase HP just to give us a little bit of health. We have focus on electricity, once again, increasing our skill power uh, and also our skill cooldown. We have spear and shield, which is going to give us a little bit of defense, give us the skill power, skill insight, and skill concentration. These are mostly only for critical damage. As you see, guys, our critical damage is at 207. Really, really good. And last but not least, guys, we're running skill expansion. This is another requirement and update of the build due to the fact that with the multi-air maneuvering, with the skill expansion, and with the inv uh, the new mod that came into the game, this is going to be crucial because what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to kill multiple ads at a longer distance, allowing us to not only cover more ground, but 
Additionally, allow you to take multiple enemies out within the same, you know, within the same sphere while you're depositing these items. As you guys know, in the invasions, there's different sets of modes. You have the mode where you have to collect the canisters and go drop them off, and you also have the mode where you have to kind of identify the symbols for the robots, right? So when you're identifying the symbols of the robots, this will allow you guys to still keep killing people as you are looking for the right ability. Now, another thing we love about this is that you guys know we have pillars in the invasions and you gotta destroy these pillars. The great thing about running a bunny is the fact that you're able to damage these pillars while you're using your electricity, your emission, your number two ability. So this is gonna be very, make it very effective because you're gonna be able to damage those and clear those out without you having to shoot at them. Now, eventually, you're probably gonna have to get a couple shots out, but you're still gonna be able to do that. Skill expansion is definitely a requirement here. Now, this dangerous ambush is the only one you probably could replace and the skill expansion, and I'm gonna explain what you're gonna be replacing those with depending on the content you wanna do. Theoretically, if you put this build together, this should let you do any sort of content, but if you guys want more damage or if you want faster cooldowns to have your number two ability, we're gonna go over exactly what those changes you could make okay let's talk a little bit about the r socket because there are a couple things you could change around here that are going to make your build more tanky less tanky uh and just give you an overall better experience so skill expansion to me personally is the best one on slot right here it gives you 92 effective range but if you feel you're a little bit squishy because i know some people that are playing or are new to bunny are not used to moving as fast or just constantly moving with bunny and that sometimes will lead to death if you feel like you're a little bit squishy, but you still want to keep this effective range and you want to get a little bit more survivability, you can easily go ahead and go with amplification control. Basically, what amplification control is going to do, it's going to reduce the skill effect range by 40% because it is 51, as you see right here, but it's going to give you max shield of 36. So it's going to give you a little bit more shield, but it's still going to allow you to keep that effective range from your ability. It is a 40% drop off but you get a little bit more health within this slot so if you feel like you're a little bit squishy i personally run it the way you're seeing it on screen but if you feel like you're taking a little bit too much damage you could easily just swap that in there and put that and it's going to give you a little bit more shield and it's going to give you the same amount of effective range with a 40 percent reduction all right now for the other thing that you could change whenever you're not bossing so this is the one that i mostly change when i'm not you know when i'm not fighting a colossus uh this dangerous ambush because the majority of the time the enemies sometimes will be targeting you a lot whenever you're doing invasions so you really don't get this bonus uh, of the skill power uh, against immobilized enemies so what i like to do here guys if we go to the star here and we go to mp collector this is actually pretty good because what this is going to allow you to do is that every single time you defeat an enemy, you're going to recover 12% of the max XP for a 7.3 chance. Now, of course, if you level this up completely, it's going to give you a better chance. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to kind of keep your number two ability constantly up because you're all, mostly all the time recovering that MP, right? Even though it's not guaranteed that every single time you kill someone, you're going to get that MP. It does help out a lot, especially when you're just mobbing. So this is becomes very, very helpful uh, when you're actually doing mobs. So if you guys just want to, you know, replace this with this, you're more than welcome to. But when you're bossing, you're definitely going to want to make sure fighting Colossus is that you want to keep dangerous ambush. So those are the only things you swap. But as you see, guys, the build stays the same. And it's only these two letters that actually change. Now, guys, put this build together. You guys will not be disappointed. Not only will you be killing Colossus faster, you will be doing invasions faster and you will be doing mobbing a lot faster as well. This is by far the best build. Guys, you don't need anything else. You don't need to waste multiple sockets to put different mods here, here, and there. This is the perfect build for everybody that's playing in Season 1, and if you don't have a bunny, now is the time to get one because it's going to make your life a lot easier. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.